Hey. Uh, uh. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I love the title of today's video. I am going to be telling you guys why I decided not to go to college. Let's just go ahead and get started. This has been something that I've been really wanting to talk about for a while, actually, because um, obviously it's really it's something that I've been, you know, dealing with. And I would like to have, you know, other, you know, I just want to tell people, you know, my story and my perspective on it, because lately it has been popular and, you know, people decided not to go to college and just, you know, either pursuing YouTube or just um just started their own business might even go to college and then um drop out of college because you know their business is doing so well but you know everybody's story is different and i just want to tell you guys mine so yes let's just start out with a little background um i graduated in may of 2018 with honors and before i graduated i was only in public high school for two and a half years i went back to public school my second semester of sophomore year and before that i was homeschooled for eight and a half years i went to school up until the second grade and that's when my mom took me and my three other siblings out of public school and homeschooled us so yeah she had always been wanting to homeschool us since we were you know younger and even before we were like school age or like on the weekends or like throughout the summer when we weren't in school, she was, you know, just teaching us and we were like watching educational videos and learning all these educational songs and rhymes so that we can like, you know, learn different things. So she had always been like, you know, our teacher when we were younger. And so it came a point in time when we were in school when she realized that you know, it's time for us to be taken out of school. But if you want me to go in more detail about that, I will in a separate video. So just stay tuned for that. So yeah, she pulled us all out of school and we were homeschooled for eight and a half years. So that's a little background on my school history. I want to say 10th and 11th grade, I was kind of certain that I was going to go to college because I was so heavy into sports at the time. Um, I was swimming and I was going to try to get a scholarship and I could have got one if I really like stuck with it and really like applied for it and just really, you know. So fast forward to senior year and I got senioritis and I just stopped caring like after high school season was over with swimming. I just stopped caring for swimming. I stopped going to practice for like a while and it was just eventually died off and so you know well the thought of a scholarship was no longer in the picture I realized i didn't want to go to college for sports anymore well i did but i didn't really want to try because you know senioritis it's real it's really real once sports was off the table and second semester of senior year i didn't do any sports first semester i did because you know fresh senior you know this is the last year to do things you know you want to try everything so i did volleyball and swimming at the same time so i did um swim year round and when volleyball season came up i did volleyball and after volleyball season ended i did swim season and they kind of meshed together so at one point i was doing it at the same time so when i tell you guys i was really like on it and i was just all about sports and really heavy on you know doing some sport in college or going to college so that i could play some sport yeah, that was the main reason um, why I wanted to go to college. And so, um, second semester, senior year, I didn't do any sports. Um, I stopped swimming once swim season ended in, like, January. Um, I was really close to making it to state, but I didn't make it. So, it was, oh, well. Um, I did track my 11th grade year, but I didn't. I didn't want to do it 12th grade year. I should have did it, but I didn't because I just was not motivated to do it at all. Then fast forward to graduation, so or before graduation, you know, everybody was talking about, um, you know, applying to colleges, you know, getting get into this college or whatever, going to the military or whatever. And I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I knew I didn't want to go to college. Um, so 
Yeah, I didn't apply to not one college. I really thought about it, but then I was like, you have to pay for these applications. Like, I don't want to do this that bad, so why am I going to pay for it? So my counselor, you know, she would try to ask me what, you know, what I wanted to do or whatever. And I just, I told her I didn't want to go to college. I just wanted to start my own business or whatever. Yeah. Then I took the ASVAB and I scored high enough to get in any branch that I wanted to. So then military got put on the table as an option but then I can't or couldn't and I still can't enroll in the military currently because I have braces and I don't know when I'm going to get them off and who knows where I'm going to be in life when they do come off so I can't commit to that basically I didn't I didn't have any other options so the reason I did not want to go to college was because ever since I was you know younger the yeah. idea that I had in my head of what I wanted to do I would always like teach myself how to do it or like learn how to do it I didn't want to go to college and pay for something that you know I could learn how to do myself and I know like you have to go to college for certain careers obviously but for the career I wanted to do you did I didn't really you know have to go I used to want to be like a pastry chef and like one day open my own bakery and I still want to do that um and you know, there are a lot of self-taught bakers out there or pastry chefs, whatever, who have their own business, their own shops, and they're really successful. I didn't want to have to pay for something that I can just teach myself. That's the first reason why I did not want to go to college. The second reason is kind of ties in with the first one. Well, they all tie in. But yeah, the second reason was because I just wanted to like work for myself. I didn't really see a reason to, you know, go to college just to end up working for myself. My parents, they didn't go to college and well, my dad, I think they went for like a little bit, but none of it is like relevant to what they do now or what they have done. My dad has been so many different things. He's been a police, a sheriff, um, truck driver, insurance man, everything. Like he's worked so many different jobs and he's been successful in every single one of them. And he's only changed, um, you know, different jobs based on what he wanted to do. So I was watching him do that and I was just like, I can do that too. Like, I can just basically do whatever I want to do. My mom, she has had like a health business and everything. She's had like so many businesses. She's like always worked for herself since she was like younger. And so, you know, she was also an example of how I don't have to go to college um, to be successful. Yeah, so they really played a big part in it and they weren't like pressuring me to go to college at all. And another reason was because I couldn't decide on what I wanted to do. Like at one point I wanted to go to college to be a pastry chef. Um, that changed. I got interested in like psychology. Oh yeah, another thing was because I do not like school. Like yeah, I was ready to go back to school whenever I did get put back in public school. But even like when I was homeschooled, when I was in school, I did not like school. I liked the, you know, thought of it, you know, going and being around people for, you know, a certain amount of time and just like socializing, getting that social experience because I didn't really get that when I was homeschooled because, you know, I was around the same people. Well, I mean, you're around the same people every day, but it's just like, you know, it's different, you know. These are people you don't know, then eventually you can meet them and make more friends. The whole social aspect of it, that's what um, I was really only interested in. And, you know, I like making good grades and just like learning. You know, I like learning, but I don't necessarily like school. So, you know, like I say, if I have a question about something, I will Google it and read about it on the most legit website. And I do like multiple searches and really like, you know, learn about it yeah i was like why am i going to pay thousands of dollars to sit in a classroom every day just saying oh my gosh i hate this class um why i would have gone to college would be to you know get the experience um to make friends would have been another reason why i wanted to go because i don't have a lot of friends right now i mean yeah um i like know people 
but like I only have like a select few of friends based off of my exposure you know yeah like right before I graduated like my senior year I really started to like open up and you know talk to more people and like make more friends but I wasn't like around them long enough for them to like really like stick to me and like carry on after high school and another reason why I would have wanted to go to college would have been to get out and live on my own because um, that is something that I really want to do and I can't wait to do it. Since I didn't go to college or I knew I didn't want to go to college, I knew that I had to, you know, get a job or do something to bring in some money, some stable income for myself. So yeah, I graduated in May and less than a month later, I got my insurance license and I started selling insurance in August. That's what I've been like doing ever since. Yeah, I think that's everything. So yeah, that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're interested in hearing uh, my homeschool experience and how it was for me going back to school, then stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel because I will be making that video. Don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment down below. Any questions or comments that you have. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.